Hi, Christine here with another cute, quick and simple card I made using my Cricut. Uh, today's card is done with Kate's Kitchen, but it's done on my Cricut Imagine. I don't use my Imagine as much as I'd like to. I have quite a few cartridges, um, but I was a little disappointed with my Imagine. The colors uh, are not very vibrant and bright. They're kind of vintage colors. No matter what cartridge I use, I end up getting vintage colors. And they're soft. They're not bold bright. So, uh, and my cards end up kind of looking like they come from the 50s. And actually, Kate's Kitchen, I think all the images do. So this is no exception. But I like it. It's cute. Um, You're my cup of tea is what the theme is today. And so I use some glitter glue um, brown to get some bling and some wow to this card. So I'll show you what I've done. I started with uh, brown cardstock, 8.5 by 11, cut at 5.5 inches, folded in half to get a standard A2 card. I doodled with a white gel pen all the way around and because I printed this uh, pattern paper with Kate's Kitchen I actually didn't make enough to do my regular four by five and a quarter but you can so in this particular card I used some um, just some pale white um, eggshell colored paper which is cut at four by five and a quarter and then this pattern paper is cut quarter inch shorter so all I did was glue that straight down and then I'll show you what I did with the Cricut cartridge so I not sure I didn't outline the pages what I wanted so I'm gonna kind of go both what I remember doing. Page 17 has this cute little teacup and instead of doing the whole image I did hit the layered function and I cut out this cup twice and on the Imagine it has a left side uh, measurement and a right side measurement. I always go by the left side measurement so the cut on the left is at 2.5 inches and I cut it out twice because I raised it with pop dots. On page 19 I wanted to use this cute little yellow cup and again I used the layer function and again the left measurement uh, is 1.5 and I only cut this image out once. I also went to your my cup of tea on page 25 and I cut out the whole image uh, again at 1.25 uh, excuse me one and a half and then I cut this as a top layer which I raised with pop dots again at 1.5 inches and then I just printed some of the pattern paper so this cute multiple uh, teacups I used and you don't need a big square and on the very last page right here is the pattern I used to get the background border and I just cut it in a big square and then cut it out alright so very easy to assemble I just started with this piece here. This piece, I actually had to write it down because I always forget, is the same brown cardstock and it is cut at two inches by three and a quarter, uh, three and a half, my my. And then I printed the paper, which I'm going to use in a few other projects because it's super cute and I have some left over. And that's just cut a quarter inch shorter, so it's one and three quarters by three and a quarter. And I'm just going to take some adhesive and I'm going to put it towards the right hand side of the card leaving an equal distance from the top to the bottom and a little bit bigger gap doesn't really matter on the right hand side. Okay, 
Next, what I did is I took my little red teacup and I put pop dots in between and I doodled with a white gel pen and I'm just going to add some adhesive again and add the little teacup at an angle just like so. Okay. And then I have my little yellow teacup, which I didn't do anything really to it other than add adhesive. I did doodle around it uh, on the perimeter, but because it's white, it didn't really show up too well. So I'm just going to put that in an angle. And then I have your my cup of tea, and I raised it on pop dots, and I added your my, and then what I did is I put it against the brown cardstock, and then I raised it on pop dots again. I just cut it out by hand by adding a little bit of a border, so it wouldn't blend in with with all the rest of the blue, and just like maybe just right about here just right in the center there all right and all I did is to add a little bit of something I have these tiny tiny little white buttons and I have some zip dry glue and I'm just going to tangle it obviously yuck strings just right there and I'm going to add another one on the top all right and maybe another one right there now in the first card which I'll bring it back the the way that I pattern the paper I put it on in between each little square this paper doesn't have it so it's gonna have to kind of go random Anyways, and then what I'm going to do is put six down at the bottom, which I'm, well, I'll start just like so. And, all right, and I'll keep going to, by adding six. And I'm just going to turn the card just a little bit. All I did after that is I took this particular one is Studio G, so it's from Walmart. It's glitter glue and it's brown. And actually, it might not be from Walmart. There's a possibility it's from Michael's. Either way, it's one of the two. And all I did was take some of the glitter glue. Make sure it works. There we go. Okay. And just add it into the teacup to add some bling. Just like so. And I did, I'm just going to turn the cup again. And not the cup, the card. Anyways, just like so. And when it dries, it gives you some added sparkle to the card. And I think that's it. So I'll finish putting on the buttons. But there you go. Very simple, very quick card. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching.